Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. Season 4 is coming tomorrow, guys. It's less than 10 hours away for me right now, and that's really, really exciting. I just cannot wait to see what we can expect from this awesome, awesome two months of Season 4. Uh, but anyway, today's video is actually going to be recapping all of the leaks and all of the known information that we know about Season 4. I'm just kind of recapping you guys on what we can expect once we actually boot up our game tomorrow and, uh, yeah, what we will first see. And uh, this is also going to be talking about a lot of leaks too, you know, such as, like, some of the game modes that are coming out in Season 4, which are, by the way, pretty amazing. So, uh, yeah, please stay tuned throughout the whole video, guys, as you may miss something important. And also, if you do end up enjoying this video, please remember to give it a like. Let's see if we can smash 1,000 likes. That would be awesome. And uh, also, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite glitches, guys videos, all of that kind of stuff, including my Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway that is going to take place tomorrow and the day after. You do not want to miss out on that. It's, it's pretty easy. I'm going to be picking five winners who I'm going to be giving money to so that they can actually purchase the actual Battle Pass for themselves. Uh, but anyway, let's get into talking about Season 4. Now, as of right now, unfortunately, like most patches on Fortnite, we have no patch notes as of yet. But you can expect that tomorrow, when I receive the patch notes, which will be at 8 a.m. in the morning for me, of course, uh, GMT, which is a uh, UK time, I guess, for all of you who don't live here, um, I will be looking at all of that information, ba basically going to be talking about it on a video right before the patch actually gets implemented. So they will not become public until downtime actually begins because they kind of don't want to ruin things, I guess, or something like that, I don't know. But all you need to know is as of right now, there are no patch notes for season four, which is kind of disappointing. But like I said, I'll have a video out first thing in the morning for all of you guys. Now, the next thing is that we're possibly going to be seeing a brand new game mode on the release date, or if not the release date, within the first two weeks of Season 4 being active. And this this game mode is actually called Impact, which is very, very, you know, uh, I guess it's uh, very apt, uh, very appropriate, because, of course, as most of you guys know who've been playing Fortnite lately, the meteorites are impacting onto the surface, they're creating havoc, and it's really enjoyable. I mean, honestly, I would love if they kept this in the game. I find it very, very cool that my base gets destroyed and that, that I, I have to like kind of think of new techniques and new things uh, to kind of defend myself and everything. So I personally like that. And uh, yeah, of course, this leaked game mode impact, which was found in the in-game files, will most likely be something that we're kind of seeing now, but maybe a little bit more frequent around the map. Now, after that, we've actually got a lot of new leaked game modes that are coming out, and one of them is one of my personal favorites that I've seen, and it's called Low Gravity, which is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. When you jump, you will jump pretty high, and if we kind of think, like, think outside the box here, actually, we use our common sense. Once that meteorite hits, let's say, for example, it makes a shift in our gravity, and obviously, it would make sense for them to apply the low gravity game mode a week or two after the actual meteorite hits, because then, you know, the gravity zones will be mixed up and everything, and then we'll be able to jump around, and that'll be pretty cool, you know? So that's a really cool game mode that's coming out sometime within Season 4 that you definitely want to take a look at. It's really, really cool. Now, apart from that, we do have another two game modes. One is called Take to the Skies, which... As of right now, we don't really know exactly what it is, but a lot of people have been associating it with the jetpack that was meant to come out sometime in Season 3. Now, unfortunately, we still don't know any official news from the jetpack, other than Epic Games was about to release it, and then they discovered a huge bug. But personally for me, I don't think they did. I think basically they saw everybody complaining about it and thought, well, you know what? We better leave this one for a later date. Let's try and work around it, see what they've said about what they would like the jetpack to be and then we'll implement it at a later date so i think now that like it's space themes over and everything and this meteorite's coming down maybe jetpacks may make a return in or will actually not make a return but maybe they will make an appearance in season four because it would be very appropriate you know so that is another thing to actually look forward to a brand new shiny jetpack on your backs flying through the skies in the game mode take to the skies that sounds pretty appetizing to me to be honest now, something that is sure, uh, that everyone's sure about is that we are going to be seeing some new skins, pickaxes, trails, 
icons, back bling, and loading screens within the season battle pass. Now, unfortunately for those of you who don't buy the battle pass, um, you don't really get much, to be honest, from completing your challenges and everything. But for those who actually buy the battle pass, we will be seeing a lot more items in this season, I think. I think, like, probably the same as what we saw last, but maybe a couple of things added in. And uh, one thing that we do know is that this theme that they're going with this, uh, this season is actually going to be superheroes. And we've already seen these kind of leaked images uh, from the actual dev team themselves. One person looks like Wonder Woman, which very, like, it strongly looks like Wonder Woman. You know, obviously it's not going to be, but it looks very, very highly likely that it is based on Wonder Woman. Uh, the other person a lot of people have said is the Flash. Personally, I still think that it looks like some kind of cyber genetic kind of guy. I don't know, maybe Cyborg or something. Like their own take on Cyborg from, uh, you know, Justice League. And also, there might be one thing that will be appearing in Season 4, which will be a highly fan requested thing, and that is a cape back bling. I know a lot of people on Reddit have been asking for this for ages now and a lot of the developers who actually use Twitter and kind of use Reddit have noted that they know people want a cape back bling. So you know hopefully sometime throughout the season maybe there will be a superhero with the back bling we have to purchase him or maybe we'll actually get one for free from the actual battle pass or just the non-battle pass challenges. That'd be pretty cool too. Now, as we're talking about the battle pass and everything like that, a lot of people have been messaging me on Twitter. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to personally respond to you in my private messages, but basically a lot of people have been asking, is the season four battle pass going to be the same as the season three? Is it still gonna cost the same? Are we still gonna get the same? And personally right now, I think we will. I think that it's still going to cost 950 V-Bucks. If you want to purchase an extra 25 tiers once that comes out, it'll be 2,800. And also, if you bought the previous Battle Pass, which is Battle Pass 3, or, you know, Season 3, you will also get an extra 5 tiers when you buy the Battle Pass 4. So that's, a, in total, that's like 30 tiers if you buy the 2,800 V-Bucks package. That's actually pretty cool. I think I'm gonna buy it this time because I was kind of struggling with some of the challenges, like, not the fact that they were hard, because most of them wasn't, just the fact that they were very boring. I don't know, I liked some of the later ones where you had to skydive through rings, I thought they were very enjoyable, especially the gnomes, you know, they were really funny, hunting Keemstar, who doesn't want that, you know? Um, but I really enjoyed those kind of ones, and I think that they should kind of work those in, in the battle pass a little bit more, so I think that in the future, throughout season 4, we can expect some more fun challenges to actually take place, but like I said, as of right now, purely based on common sense, I think that the season 4 battle pass is going to be 950 V-Bucks, if you want an extra 25 tiers, that will be 2,800, and also if you bought the last battle pass, that is an extra 5 battle, t battle pass tiers for you just for buying it, you know? So that's actually very generous of the team itself. I mean, personally, I'm not a fan of the whole 2,800 for the first 25 tiers. I think that's rip-off, but you know, it, it kind of makes sense, you know? It, it works out cheaper than what it would be if you were to actually buy them individually without the little package. So that's pretty cool too, I guess. And uh, just for the lols, I'm gonna be buying that as soon as the game comes out. I may actually even buy the full battle pass so that I can actually leak what the last challenge is of the battle pass for all of you guys who are going to be wondering, because I know for a fact a lot of you guys are going to be very curious about that, and I want to do a video as soon as possible. Uh, but anyway, now that we've got that out of the out of the question and stuff like that, we've actually got something that came into light a couple of hours ago when they shown off the last screenshot for the Season 4 Battle Pass kind of, uh, I guess, promotional art. And this is the one with all of the heroes standing, uh, looking at the crashed object in the ground, and uh, somebody actually pointed out that on the far right hand side of the screen, if you just kind of zoom in a little bit there and enhance the picture a little bit, you can actually see that there is some power lines or, you know, the pylons that you find around Dusty Depot on the image. Now, there's only a couple of places where these actually spawn around the map and they are at Dusty Depot. So a lot of people have been saying that, you know, it looks like Dusty will actually be the place to be destroyed and not Tilted Towers. Personally, I'm a big fan of this because I don't think 
Dusty is a very good place to loot. I mean, if you if you land there, you're practically scrounging for a shotgun to battle, like, what? The other two players that landed there with you. There's just not enough loot in that open space for you to be comfortable with looting. I don't know how people land there. And personally, if they actually destroy Dusty and kind of implement some kind of meteorite cl crash landing site with, like, pop-up tents where the government have been, like, kind of doing tests and everything... I think that would be really, really cool. I really kind of wait to see if they do something like that. Now, while I'm kind of talking about the map, there was actually something leaked on Reddit a couple of days ago. I don't know, you guys have probably heard about it already, but basically, this guy, just an anonymous guy, said that Dusty would be the one to be destroyed, superheroes were going to be added and everything, and uh, he basically said he wasn't going to name his source. And then he actually went on to say that the map in Season 4 will be evolving near enough every single week. Now, basically what that means is, let's say, for example, they never built Tilted Towers. Let's say, for example, there was a lot of diggers. It was just a kind of site where lots of diggers and trucks were, and they were planning to build houses there, right? So one week, you would see a crane and you would see a digger, but then the next week, you would see part of a house or a building, and the diggers have then moved a little bit, and then the next week after that, the full skyscrapers there and what Whatever, you know, that is what they mean by ever evolving. So apparently the map is going to be seeing some huge changes in season four, which I am a big fan of, by the way. I mean, I love the fact like if they did that, if I went over to Salty Springs and they had all of the kind of horrible looking houses and everything, and then the next week they were a little bit more fixed up and everything, I think that would be really, really cool. And actually, this could be the start of the, the, I guess, the plans for Season 5. I mean, I know I'm looking a bit further ahead into the future here, but maybe eventually, if the map is always evolving, maybe they eventually want to restore it to a non-post-apocalyptic kind of looking place where it looks futuristic, you know? I mean, that would be really, really interesting, and it would allow them to implement a lot more futuristic weapons and all that kind of stuff into the game if they wanted to, and I just think that would be really cool, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway... Apart from all of that news that I've just told you guys, I want to please announce that these servers cannot handle every one of you guys going into the game at the same time. When this actual patch gets added in, it's going to be laggy, I promise you that, and there's going to be a lot of bugs, there's going to be a lot of downtime, so just have patience, you know, and what I would recommend you is that if you haven't already bought your V-Bucks right now, guys, buy it right now, because tomorrow when you try and purchase it, when everybody's trying to purchase it, it's going to be very difficult for you to get it because the servers may crash, something may happen, it might just go all tits up. Um, but anyway, that has been all of the information that I have about Season 4, about all the speculation and everything like that gathered together. I hope that you enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, I just want to say thank you very much for making Season 3 very enjoyable for me. I am a very grateful YouTuber right now to all of the people who watch my videos, and basically, you pretty much... I, I, like make me go on in this job, you know, I wouldn't if I wasn't getting views and I wasn't getting positive comments and stuff like that sometimes I would just kind of feel a little bit crappy and want to give up and uh, It's because of you guys who comment and actually watch the videos that make it possible for me to actually earn a living from this Feed my son and my girlfriend and everything pay my bills and all that kind of jazz yeah, but anyway, enough of my rambling. Have an awesome day, guys. Enjoy the new Season 4 update tomorrow. I wish you all the best. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. See ya.